Happy Birthday by Marianne Mitchell. Art by Julie Olson. Tom and Lucy went to Anna's party. Happy birthday, Anna, said Tom. Happy birthday, said Lucy. This present is for you, said Tom. Thank you, said Anna. How old are you today? asked Lucy. Anna held up five fingers. I'm five years old. You can help us play a game, said Anna's mom. We are trying to break the piñata. Let me try, said Tom. You get five swings with the bat, said Anna. Everyone counted. One, two, three, four, five. Pow! The piñata broke. Yay! Candy for everyone, cried Tom. A tiger is lurking around. Hurry, get down low to the ground. Crawl slowly and creep quietly. Oh, I see a tiger. Where is a tiger? There. Oh my goodness. Right here. Close your eyes and exhale lightly. It's safe to stand up and stretch. Oh no! Now watch out for that lion! Uh oh! There's another tiger! Another tiger and I met him! Let's Go Fishing by Marianne Mitchell Art by Katherine Mitter Maria wanted to try out her new fishing pole. I know the perfect place, said Dad. They hiked through the woods until they came to a clearing. Maria cried, I see a lake. That's where we'll fish, said Dad. Dad opened his tackle box and baited their hooks. He showed Maria how to hold her pole and use the reel. Now we'll see what happens, he said. After a while, something tugged at Maria's pole. She asked, What's happening? You have a bite, said Dad. The wiggly fish pulled on her line. She cried, I see it. Hold tight, said Dad. Maria reeled the little fish closer. Dad used his net to scoop it up. Good job! he said. We'll have fish for supper. Dad took a picture of Maria and her first fish. Maria stood tall. It's my first fish! On the way home, Maria asked, Can we come again? You bet, said Dad. We'll come again soon. Bunny hip-hops left and right, left and right, left and right. Bunny hip-hops left and right. Whoa, bunny stops. Ducky waddles back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Ducky waddles back and forth. Whoa! Ducky stops. Pony clip-clops up and down, up and down, up and down. Pony clip-clops up and down. Whoops! Pony flops. Clip-clop, clip-clop. Listen by Marianne Mitchell, art by Paige Kaiser. On a warm summer night, Zach and Miguel went camping with Dad. 
While Dad put up the tent, he said, Listen, and you'll hear sounds in the woods. Zack listened to the wind whoosh through the trees. He said, I hear the wind. Later, they went for a walk along the lake. Little frogs croaked in the reeds. Miguel said, I hear the frogs. When they got back to their tent, Dad built a crackling campfire. As they ate, an owl hooted overhead. Zack said, I hear the owl. After supper, Dad said, time for bed. Zack and Miguel crawled into their sleeping bags. Outside, the crickets chirped a night song. Miguel said, I hear the crickets. After a while, only one sound filled their tent. Zack leaned over to Miguel and said, Listen. They giggled as they listened to Dad's rumbly snores. Do you like doing projects together? Yeah. Me too. Life is hectic, which is why we work so hard to make time every single week to work on a very special project together. This week, we're working on a present pouch. First, we're gonna decorate our pouch. And now we're gonna take the yarn that we've tied to a paper clip and we're gonna use it to sew our pouch. Over and under. Over and under, great job. Then all we do is we pull the strings and we have a... Pouch present! A pouch present! Michael might use his present pouch to keep his hidden treasures or he may choose to give it to a friend. The most important thing to me is that we got to spend that time together. Who are we gonna give it to? Eli. Eli, to our friend Eli, that's sweet. Little Bunny's New Neighbor by Eileen Spinelli, art by Rose Mary Berlin. Little Bunny watched as Mr. Ferret moved into the house next door. He watched Mr. Ferret hang a sign on his gate Keep out. Later, Little Bunny and Squirrel were playing ball. The ball bounced into Mr. Ferret's yard. Will you go get it? Asked Squirrel. Little Bunny remembered Mr. Ferret's sign and said, I don't think we should. So they rode bikes instead. When he went inside, Little Bunny smelled something good. Mama was taking a carrot cake from the oven. Yum, said Little Bunny. Mama smiled. This cake isn't for us. It's for our new neighbor. But Mama, Mr. Ferret is a grouch. Even grouches like carrot cake, said Mama. When the cake was done, they went next door. When Mr. Ferret saw the carrot cake, he grinned. He told them about his granny's cakes and how much he missed them. The next day, Little Bunny and Squirrel were flying kites. Squirrel's kite skittered into Mr. Ferret's yard. Uh-oh, said Squirrel. It's okay, said Little Bunny. He walked right up to Mr. Ferret's gate. The new sign read, Welcome. This one? This one? <laughs> bears, bears everywhere. By Heidi B. Romer. Art by Rico Seicherl. Giant bears, tiny bears, bears in every size. Scruffy bears, fluffy bears, bears with button eyes. Bears in boots and bathing suits, but just one bear is right. A bear to hug. 
A bear to love. My bear to kiss. Good night. Can you find the hidden bees that are in this picture? <laughs> yeah, there's a bee. Let's count the bees. Let's count the bees. Let's do that. You count. You count. Okay, I'll count with you. You ready? Count with me. I will. Here we go. One, two, three. Watch more on Highlights High Five, the channel just for you.